Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower. When we last left off, we'd found Tim. And Tim was a little bit dead, which was rather unfortunate, to say the least. Uh, anyway, we can't spend all this time worrying about Tim. We need to go back to the study. Apparently, this is all uh, theory and politics at the moment, but I think we're going back to the study. And then we need to go back to the, uh, yes, this room. Okay, cool. So we should be able to use our candle here and the matches to light this room up a little bit. Because apparently it's dark. Candlestick holder. Wax has dripped in here. Uh, okay. Well, let's try. Okay, why won't you use the candle? Stick holder. Wax has dripped in here and there. So... Why won't you use the candle, stick holder? That's a little bit frustrating. Okay, well, I guess she doesn't want to use the candlestick holder. Fine, whatever. But we can examine these scratches at least. Scratch marks on the floor, made by something being dragged across it. Yeah, I wonder what. Why do I keep calling you Rebecca? I should be calling you Jennifer. There we go. Now we've used that. Good God. I'm pretty sure we examined those. Ah. Now we have that awesome, like, clock tower music. So, if we remember... There was a detail that I should have written down. That I did not write down. That's bad. Now, we kind of need an item. From the room back here. Which is a little bit frustrating. I don't know how we search this fireplace. We should... Be able to search this fireplace. I don't know... Why it's not letting us. It's a bit strange. Because... Take the drive path when choosing among the three. Okay, I wonder what this means. Well, we'll find out. Unless we have to use that on that, then that. Huh. Hang on, because according to my guide here, it says, look at the fireplace, and Jennifer will say it's too dark. Unless this isn't the office slash study, but I'm pretty sure it is. Eight. Uh, eight is the office slash study. Right. Okay. We might not be in the office slash study. This isn't the easiest of guides to comprehend, but that's okay. We shall work these things out. All right. Let's try going through. Oh, we can't go through here, can we? Because if memory serves, yeah, this is the broken area. Hopefully Scissorman's going to stay away for a while because we've got stuff to do. And if you're thinking to yourself, gee, we must be really close to the end of the game. You'd be right. Okay. Oh, there is something that we haven't done yet, actually, thinking about it. But let's see. Nope. 
that's not where we need to be. Yeah, so even with this map, it's still like horrendously confusing. But that's okay. We can take this one door at a time. And I have got a bit of a guide up as well, but it's not what I would call um, obvious, should we say. Now, apparently, because we have this genealogy thing, we can go back through that one, I think. We can go back to the main hall. And we can go into the room that are... Actually, we could just go this way, couldn't we? We can go back to the room with our friend. Tim was fried. I think. Possibly. Alright, let's go through here. Go into there. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Alright. Now we should be able to run all the way down here. If she would move her ass, you know, at a somewhat decent pace. I think we found everyone as well. Can't think of anybody that we may have missed. Now we want to go through here. And where did Tim die? Was it through here? Apparently we can't go through that door anymore. Which is oh no, 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 we can. Just for some reason the game went less. That's okay. Yeah, this is where Tim's dead, but actually this isn't the room we need. Where was that other room with loads of pictures adorning the walls? What's kind of interesting as well is like I like that ambient music when you get into a room where someone's been murdered. It's really cool. It's really fitting as well. Nope. The atmosphere for this game in general, personally, I think is really fucking good. The game itself is what it is. <laughs> Some people, like myself, love this game for the nostalgia factor. Other people think it's mediocre at best. Here we go. That's what we wanted. We should now... Plaque reads Quinton Barrows. He is the 13th generation. A note stuck to the back side of the portrait. It's hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden a map in the library. I hope people in a later time may discover a door to expel the devil children from this world. Quinton Barrows. Well, thanks for that, dude. So, we found that, which is good. Maybe now, we can explore up here. And go back. Because maybe that's what we needed to do. To be able to search the library, perhaps. Although, it's not the library that we're having trouble searching. Um, right, this puts us down here. So, we need to go all the way down. Um, to the other side. If this is the correct way to go. Yeah, that'll work. Certainly not perfect, but it'll work. Um, I think it is this door. It is not this door. Now, the ghost room. So, I think it's this one here, then, instead. The library, top of the stairs, if I remember correctly. Well, I mean, this is the top of the stairs, but it's not exactly where we need to be. Um, which is very curious. 
maybe if I start looking at the right map, that could be a little bit beneficial. So main study office is eight. Right, got ya. Found you. Okay, let's go back in here and try that again, shall we? Okay, so it's not that door. So that leads to the main, the stairway. The stairway in this game is kind of confusing. Ah, nope, it's not. I got it. I've worked it out. It's it actually, my God, man. You think having a map for this game would make it uh, a little bit easier to navigate? Um, not really. <laughs> not really. Easier, yes. Easy, no. Basically, there are a load of boxes with numbers on. Okay. Now we can search it. That's what we needed. Okay. Cool. I can't see anything. It's too dark. Right. So now you thought about sticking your head in. Put that there. The candle has been placed in the holder. Yes. How Shenmue of you. Now we can have a little look. Something's stuck on the back. This looks like a sketch of the mansion. It seems to be a passage down under the fountain. You now have the mansion map. Excellent. Right. Okay. So, basically, we have to... This is what's weird about that section. You have to find the map mentioning uh, a secret to the library but it allows you to search something else that isn't in the library that's sort of moon logic if you well i mean i think that's moon logic anyway that seems to be a little bit weird but okay we'll roll with it anyway now this is the fun part because we need to choose one of three paths now, two of these paths are certain death, right? But I think in our game, it was this one. A shaft that keeps going all the way down. Well, one way to find out, Jennifer. I can hear water at the bottom. Well, that's not nice. Ooh. Oh, oh, that was savage. Oh, the humanity. Okay, maybe that's not the one we were supposed to go down. Now, this is random every time you play it, and that plaque that we get here, um, star plaque. Oh, it says star plaque. So, maybe we need to go down the star, I guess. But... Let's try the other one just for shits and giggles and see if we get another gruesome uh, deep shaft. It's impossible to tell how far it goes. Yeah. So I'm guessing because ours is the star, we need to go down the star path. Let's see what happens this way. Oh. Oh, that sucks. It's the same death, but, you know, hey, whatever. At least we... Um, <laughs> we experimented for for science. Yes, sorry, Jennifer. You had to die for science. Well, you wouldn't be the first, I guess, and you won't be the last. Okay, let's go down here then. It's too dark to see anything. Bullshit! Get your ass down there, Jennifer. And I still say, although the, the visuals in this game are pretty basic, ah, they do the job. They do the job very nicely, if you ask me anyway. Right, and here we go. What is all this bullshit? Looks like an altar. Yeah, doesn't it just? Now, I'm going to drop a save here because I think we should be able to get multiple endings so let's have a look
let's drop number seven cool right so let's grab this bad boy a dagger a dagger with symbols carved in it you now have dagger oh boy um let's get dagger <laughs> that thing killed us a little bit quick now didn't it luckily we can just f5 Right, let's grab the dagger. I guess we just got to be a little bit quicker on that. Oops. Right, let's try that, shall we? Now we have our dagger. Well, maybe not. Maybe we just have to grab it and run. Ha. Huh. It's all coming back to me, he lied. Uh, unless... There's something else we have to do. Looks like an altar. Grab that. Okay. Yep, now we have dagger. Let's get out of the room. Alright, I guess we can just run away from the zombie. The zombie that seems to have the death touch. Alright, I thought we might be able to stab it with this magical, mystical dagger of ours, but maybe not, I suppose. Okay, let's get out of here. So we've got everything we need. And I love that clock tower music, you know? Oh. Scissor man's here. Keep going. We really don't want him to pincer us in. I like the way that candle's still lit, actually. It's quite cool. Um, right. So, where can we drop his ass? Uh, I think we're going to have to actually go back to the second floor. Yeah, we'll go to the first floor. And let's try something for science. Let, no, 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 let's go through there. Where is he? Apparently he's above us. So there's a drop just in this door here. Now, I thought that we could only use this once, but apparently, from what I've read, you can actually use this multiple times if need be. So that's what we're going to do is... I mean, we'll see. It's nice that they give us potentially an unlimited way of getting rid of him. Um. Unless he straight up is not going to fall for it again. Where are you? How are you... Dofi old bastard. Right. Watch me come in here. Did we just like straight up lose him or something? Dude, he's not going to fall for it again. Really? In that case... Where can we escape from him to? Um... Hmm... That's irritating. So, where could we get rid of Scissor Man to? I'm guessing we can't hide up here. I don't know if this is like a random chance thing or what. We'll try it again, but I'm pretty sure he's going to kill us. Let's give it a go. Guarantee he's going to kill us. I'm guessing we can never, ever. Yeah, because he slows down. He knows we're here. And he's just going to poke us. Boop. Yeah. Alright. That's interesting. So, there must be another way we can get rid of him. Uh, that's really quite annoying. Um, have we ever... No, we did. We did escape him once. Oh, God, he's right there. 
We did escape him once, didn't we? Uh, let's try the kitchen. Um, so the kitchen is through here. Because there was that trapdoor, we might be able to use that trapdoor on him. Kind of sounds familiar. No, that's not it, is it? This isn't the kitchen. I oh, know, apparently it is. Apparently it is. According to my map, let's see how accurate this map is, shall we? Not very accurate at all. But, there is a valve we can use here to stop the water flowing. Uh, damn you, scissor man. That's where we need to go. You complete and utter bastard. Absolute dick. That is not the kitchen. At all. That is not even remotely the kitchen. He is where we need to go through. Come on, Jennifer. Um, can't use the poker because it's gone. Oh, God. Right. Um, <laughs> can we not walk this way, Jennifer? All right. I guess we can't walk that way. Fine. Don't know why we can't walk that way, but I mean, it's your life, I guess. Right, let's try going back to the kitchen again. I know there's a trap door that we can use, or there's like a box we can hide in or something in there, I think. But, uh, Barrow's first floor. We went through there, so the kitchen should be, there should be three doors, it should be that one. Come on, come on. Yes, we've found the kitchen through this magical map of mine, which is sometimes more accurate than others. Um, yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Hide in the box, hide in the box. Now, didn't we try and hide in this box before and it didn't work? He's going to kill us again, isn't he? He's not. Okay. Literally cannot believe that worked. I literally can't believe that worked. Dried up goods. Yeah, apparently we can use that to get rid of him as well. So, um... Yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that box. I can't believe that worked, to be honest. But hey, whatever. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. And we should be able to go right down to the end game now. We're on like 23 minutes, guys. I'm going to have to cut this video off. Just because otherwise we're not going to have enough time. Um... Uh, to get enough videos out for the week. So, when we come back, we're going to go finish this game. Hopefully, we're going to get to, if we're lucky, three endings. But we'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.